Hello, you're in Bubba Spot, and this is DevScoops, a rapid show and tell on tools and practices in cloud technology in general. And so if this tickles your fancy, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it. On today's episode, I will explore an alternative to Docker. I have had issues with Docker in the past, whereby I have to restart the application to be able to use it. And this made me explore other options and I came across Podman or Pod Manager. Like Docker, it is a very good container management tool and it's open source. So what I'm going to do today is go through the installation process and then show some basic commands to start a container and access the application that the container runs. And so for a start, I need to install the main tool into my system. There are actually several ways of installing this tool depending on your operating system. I'll put a link in the description below on the Podman's main webpage on this installation instructions for your reference. I'm using Ubuntu on Windows subsystem for Linux and Podman has a special set of instructions that you need to perform for this to work. I made a script to wrap all of these steps. I'll also put a link in the description below on this script for your reference. So let me go ahead and run this script on my system. I added a warning message on my script just to make sure that this only gets run on Ubuntu on Windows subsystems for Linux. Podman is now installed on my system. So to verify, I will run podman dash dash version. Let me start doing basic container related commands. So I'll start with getting some information about Podman. This result provides a lot of useful information about the tool, but one of the most important elements in this output is the registries. This provides a list of repositories that will be used to check and pull images from apart from the local machine. By default, Podman is set to pull images from docker.io and key.io. And now, let me start doing basic container-related commands. I'm going to first check what images I have available on my machine. But I don't have any available images for use on my machine. So I'm going to pull the Nginx image. But first, I'm going to search for this image across all Podman registries and repositories and find the source for an official version. I get one result in the list. So let me go ahead and pull this image. And now that the image is pulled locally, let me once again list down the images on my machine. I now have Nginx on my machine. Now let me start a container that will use this Nginx image. And now that I've started a container, I want to verify this and list down all the containers running on my machine. I can see the container that I started from the list and there's only one container running at the moment. If I want to inspect the related processes on the container along with their process IDs, I will run this command. This result shows me the main process along with several child processes that are spawned when the container was started. And if I want to follow the container logs, I'm going to run this command. And now let me switch to my browser and check if the application works. And my Nginx application works. So now let me switch back to my terminal. The next thing I will do is clean up. So let me start by canceling this log tailing and then stop the running container. So first, I need to list down all the containers that are running on my machine. And now I'm going to stop the container and then remove the container. And now if I verify the list of containers running on my machine, it's now empty. So that's good. And lastly, clean up the images. But let me list the images so I know which ID to remove and then run this command to delete the image. And that's it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.